Okay guys, so in uh, today's video we'll be uh, installing a single DIN, this uh, Alpine uh, unit here in a 2006 uh, Chrysler Sebring. Uh, so the, I bought the unit here, as you can see it's the uh, UTE 73BT, that's the unit I'll be installing. Uh, I've got the dash kit here, in uh, the dash kit uh, included uh, the dash kit itself for the radio. Uh, the butt connectors with a few zip ties. It has the uh, harness, wearing harness, as well as the, uh, the antenna adapter. So I bought this kit on, on Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll post a link down below where you can get this one because it includes everything. Uh, that's the unit there. So uh, first things first, we'll head over to the car, uh, get the old unit out, then we'll come back inside and solder the wires for this adapter harness to the new radio harness. So let's head to a car and we'll get started. All right, so now we're here in the car. So here's our uh, old radio. So we're gonna go and uh, go ahead and take it out. So you need a few tools, a uh, panel removing tool, and a uh, Phillips screwdriver, as well as a small flathead uh, for the connectors. So first things first, we go to remove this uh, trim around here along with the uh, climate controls so to get it out you can use a panel removal tool just there's a small edge there you can put it into pop it forward once you've done that one you can just use use your hands and just pull it straight out you see there's all uh, held on by clips so now we're gonna just pull it Pull this forward, we'll get our small flathead screwdriver and there's a couple connectors, one here on the left and one on the right. I'm uh, gonna press in on those little tabs to, re to release them. That's where you might need your uh, small flathead screwdriver. And the other one is here. There. So Got the climate controls out, so let's set those off to the side. Then we've got the two connectors there. That one here is on the, on the inside, and that one will be on the inside as well. So there's our radio. So you can use, uh, I think it's 8 mil or 7 mil, uh, or you can use uh, a Philips. So Okay, so now that we got it, the harness on the left and the antenna on the right, that's all this one has. So we'll just go ahead and get that antenna off. This is a bit of a pain. I think it's a push and pull. There you go. So to remove the antenna, you gotta push down and then pull this out to release it. Uh, and then the little connector for the harness at the bottom. So press down and out. So there's our old radio. We won't be using anymore. So let's it down off to the side. And that is it for this one. So there's the one single connector and our antenna. Uh, another thing I will be doing because that uh, new radio does have a... Um, Bluetooth on it. I will be running the mic up and behind here over to the steering wheel. Okay, so now we've got the, um, the old radio out uh, and here we have everything we need to get the new radio uh, installed. Here's our uh, dash kit with uh, some brackets for antennas as I said before. Uh, the back connectors is a few zip ties. There's a radio harness and this is the harness for the new radio. There's our new radio and there's the uh, microphone. So included the keys and a few um, four screws. Uh, I won't be using the sleeve off of the unit. Instead, I'll just be uh, screwing it onto these uh, brackets that came with the kit. Uh, always we're uh, good to go. So now what I'll start doing first is I'll uh, mount the radio to the dash kit and I'll show you how to put this together along with the brackets. Um, and I won't be using the sleeve. So uh, let me set that up and we'll get, uh, we'll get going. Okay, so first thing we'll do is get the uh, sleeve off. 
so normally they are locked in so when I use the, the keys they provided for us here just lay those in place that will release the sleeve and get it off we'll be using that so we can set those off to the side so now we've got the, uh, the radio here uh, that goes to the top so uh, we're gonna be so this is our uh, the kit here it is labeled so uh, it says stop so that's the top uh, of the radio uh, and then we'll have the two brackets uh, they're labeled left and right so when I first looked at it and I thought if I look at it this way that's my left and right or left and right uh, the opposite I'm gonna flip it over uh, look from the back side of it and that's your right and that's your left so there's my right one and it will only go one way what we're gonna do is uh, this one here has the little uh, tabs that will slide into place and lock so just put those in there the kit that you gave me may be different but this is the one I have uh, so just lock it into place and do the same thing with the uh, left What's in there now? Uh, so then, what I'll do next is again paying attention to what the top is, should be that one. I'm gonna just uh, slide the new deck right through. <coughs> so, just slide it right through until it uh, bottoms out basically. So they're bottomed out. So now what I do is just uh, go ahead and line up the uh, the screw openings for the uh, radio and uh, screw those in. Okay, so I've got the uh, the radio mounted here to the dash kit. Uh, I ended up using uh, one screw on either side uh, for whatever reason. It didn't have enough uh, of an opening to get a second one. Uh, but that's fine. It's on there. Uh, it's on there real good. It has a lip on the bottom, which is really not, not going to go anywhere. So that's ready to go. So next, we're going to get our uh, radio harness here all prepared up. So here's the one that came with the kit, and I haven't I hadn't seen this before, but this one has two ground wires and two constant wires. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, so I may just uh, combine the two to make sure that I get the right one. I don't want to, have to come back inside and and uh, rewire if I if I don't have to. Okay, so we've got the um, the radio harness good to go here. As you can see, I used the the back connectors. Um, what else I did was I taped off the few that I didn't use. So in this case, I didn't use the brown uh, nor the blues. And usually the blue wires are usually for the amp turn on, whether it's a factory or aftermarket. Uh, he doesn't have either of those, so I just taped them off. Uh, same thing with the brown. The brown, if I'm not mistaken, should tell us here. I think it's the mute um, or something rather. Uh, yeah, the mute button on the steering wheel controls. He does have the steering wheel controls, uh, so that'll be fine. Uh, I will post in the description down below. I'll look for the wiring for steering wheel controls. So if you do have them, I'll uh, tell you which wires you need to use. Uh, otherwise, this is good to go. Here's our antenna or faceplate. And lastly, I did bring the climate control inside uh, just to make sure that the uh, there's no issues here. So if we put it there, it's a perfect fit. So no issues there either. So now that we have all these done, let's head over back to the car and we'll start uh, putting things back in. So I've already gone ahead and run the, the microphone. And so what I did is just run it through here. Should be able to see it through there. There's the wire. So I just run it through the side here, stuck my hand behind there, and I was able to pull it out. And you want to fish it nice and slow. Uh, you don't want to get caught or anything sharp and then uh, rip it or or anything like that. So anyways, we've got that mic there. And then I'll show you later where I finally mount it. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is uh, get our antenna. Plug it right into our factory one. And just go in there. 
push it into place and should lock in. Uh, then we'll, we'll do our uh, radio harness. So it will only go one way. So go ahead and put that in, make sure it locks into place. Um, and then, so that's that, that's that, and I think we're good. So now what we'll do is get our radio, plug in the antenna. And of course, if you have any, you know, you're putting in an amplifier or anything else, then you want to make all your connections here. So these are our pre outs, uh, otherwise, it should be good to go. So now we'll go and plug in our harness here for our radio. It should be this side up make sure it locks into place so that's good there so next we'll just uh, for the last thing will be our mic and that one is going to go on here where's the mic should be that one there See, make sure I got the right one. Remote mic, yeah. So that's the mic. So we should have plenty of space at the back. So now when I just I should put the uh, this thing through, nothing's getting pinched or, or anything. Push that through to the back, push this one towards the bottom, slide the radio into place. And that's nice and easy. There's plenty of space on all four sides so now let's get our screws and uh, put it back into place let's grab our uh, climate control and plug those back in so black one on the left and the white one on the right into place and I just quickly line it up I should be able to just line it up to where we'll be going and push it right into place and we're done there now I'll go and uh, plug my battery back in get the uh, the face plate and we'll uh, test it out all right so now we've uh, powered it on make sure everything is working as you can see there it's uh, it's up and running I'll leave the volume off just for copyright reasons of course and then use uh, the USB and that should be from this side there's USB, there's your auxiliary there's your Bluetooth audio Pandora and of course your tuner so uh, yeah that's uh, how you install a uh, single DIN uh, radio in a 2006 uh, Chrysler Sebring. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. I will put the description on the kit for this one. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, let me know.